Hi guys, here I am to do a process video and I'm still trying to figure out how to set up my camera and everything else. So this layout is called Summer Stories and basically what I did at first was I found a picture I wanted to use, I picked out a few papers and then I went to my embellishments. Here I am spraying down some of the Heidi Swap ephemeras that have the resist on it. The green is chartreuse and then the bottom color is peach. And I tell you what, at first when I tried to um, do the video, I had a hard time getting that peach to spray. So I don't know if there's something wrong with it, but I cleaned off the spritzer thing and I finally got it to work. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here, I sprayed them and now I'm just wiping off those um, ephemera pieces and I end up only using two of them. I don't use the big heart and the other um, the other peach piece just because I just didn't like it with this layout but that's okay I'm gonna try and use them on another layout. So I'm just wiping off the excess um, spray on there to get that white to kind of pop a little bit more. And this is the first time I've used those um, Heidi Swap Resist pieces and I really like them. So right here I have my picture that is a picture of my grandma and grandpa and basically what I do is I look, I want to make sure I know what date it is because a lot of my pictures have the date on them. So this is all the way back in 2001. And I'm just adhering their picture onto um, that doily paper. That was my inspiration for the whole entire kit that I put together. And right here you're going to see me get up because the cutter on my trimmer fell off. And I didn't even realize it and it was laying on the floor so I had to pick it up. And I put it back in there and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. So basically what I'm using is just a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock that I had in my stash. And I like to do this when I put my kits together, that way I get more use out of my pattern papers. So here what I'm doing is I'm just looking at two of the other pattern papers. Um, I believe one of them was um, a pink paisley and then the Echo Park paper pad that I'm cutting down into rectangles. I don't have a measurement on size of what I did. I just wanted them to fit behind that photo. So that light blue is the Paradise Beach from Echo Park. And that paper right there is the Pink Paisley, oh, House of Three, I think it was called. So here I'm just kind of lining it up on there to make sure it's a little bit longer than that blue piece. And just cut that off. I really need to figure out how to speed up my video. I can watch it fast, but I can't get it to stay and fast forward. So I'm just gonna have to work with this um, this app that I have on here. So here what I'm doing is I'm gonna take that chartreuse and I'm just gonna splatter it down on the corner, bottom right corner. And then I go ahead and grab the peach as well and I'm gonna splatter that in there too. So just to give it some color on that white background. I really was going to try to use my watercolors on this layout, but then I got to thinking, no, let me do the splatter effect. So hopefully the next layout I can, you know, maybe use some watercolors. I think that would be a lot of fun. I have never done that on a layout, so definitely want to give that a try. I actually ended up using quite a few stickers and ephemera pieces on um, this layout. There what I'm doing is I'm just inking it up with that Prima Attic Dust. I believe that's what it's called, um, chalk edger. I really like to use those little ink edgers. They just seem to come really in handy. Um, I do usually like to use my Tim Holtz Distress Inks, but I find that these little Prima ink things are awesome to use. So maybe in the future I will get some more colors. I don't know, I only have three. I have that one and then two pinks, a light pink and then a dark pink. So I'm still going ahead and inking up those pattern papers there and here I'm going to kind of line it up with that picture just to make sure both pieces pop out of the back. I thought about adding another piece of pattern paper in there but I didn't so you'll see here that I'm trying to 
kind of figure out where I'm going to place those Heidi Swap ephemera pieces. And I messed with that for quite a while, but don't end up using them all. It was just too much. And I don't know if it was too much green or if that heart was just too big with the chevron on it. So I ended up not using it. And that piece right there says awesome time. Anyway, that's a picture of my grandma and grandpa, like I said, back in 2001. And every summer we would go to um, this campground that had a lake and we would stay for a whole week and we would always go fishing every year, same time every year, third week in June. And we don't do it anymore and I really miss it because, you know, my grandma and grandpa are still alive and they just can't get around and do things like they used to. Um, I believe this was this was a couple summers before my grandpa had to have his he had open heart surgery so this was a couple years before he even had that open heart surgery but we always used to have such a blast I mean it was always so fun they would take their boat we would take our boat and our campers and my aunt and uncle would even come with their kids and their boat and camper and it was always such a blast I just you know, times like that, you just remember them because they were so much fun and you just wish you had them times again, but that's how life is. So I believe what I'm, yeah, I'm digging out for um, those um, stickers and I honestly don't even remember, they're from Pebbles and I want to say it's called Lakeside. I do have the paper pad that goes with this and you're going to see that I am going to grab tons and tons of these stickers. Um, I think I used like 10 of them on there, so I was really happy to, you know, use some of those stickers. And the funny thing is, is I do have wood veneers for that collection too, but I didn't seem to use it. So that green banner that I just put on there, that says every summer has a story. And then underneath that, I kind of space it down a little bit more. Um, it's four stickers, they're all separate. It says this is the sweetest most glorious day that ever my eyes did see. So I really loved that. So I wanted to put all four of them stickers on there. And I really liked how I just kind of put everything on the edge of that uh, blue paper. You'll see that here. And that heart does stay where it where it is up in the top right corner of that photo. And what's cool is when I glued it down, it was still kind of, I wouldn't say it was wet, but it curled up so you can really see the dimension and you can kind of see it there. So down at the bottom, I am putting it, I think it said a note from or something like that, but I tucked it up underneath so I could journal on it. And right there I'm writing the date. So I just wrote 2001 down there. And I would have done a little bit more journaling, but I know I have tons more pictures of you know, when we've gone camping with my grandma and grandpa. Now that sticker right there says, I, or it says, love you. So I really wanted to incorporate that. And then you're gonna see me grab um, another sticker and put up top, it says, summer fun, I believe. No, summer memories, I'm sorry. It says summer memories. So I put that up underneath there. I wanted to do a little bit more layering, but I just didn't get there. Um, the sticker that I'm putting on right there says happy day and it's a little bit off from the pattern papers but I kind of like how that kind of sticks up I kind of stuck with the blues or not the blues but like the different green tones so I really like that and then I'm gonna grab that happy, happy camper sticker and put that right above the love you so I'll layer one more sticker there and then down underneath that quote that I read to you, this is the sweetest, most glorious day that ever my eyes did see. I add that awesome time that I sprayed with the Chartouse Heidi Swap Color Shine. So I just put some adhesive on that and just tuck that up underneath there. And you will see, I'm going to go ahead and spray two more pieces, I believe, with that Heidi Swap spray. And I do add those onto my layout. Um, I also end up using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher um, and at the end you will see that I will put a picture in there I added a few other things I added some I added some washi tape onto my layout so I will put a seal 
steel photo at the end of this video. So I think that is pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'm going to add those enamel dots and I'm going to add a few more pieces. So I'll just let you continue to watch the video. I will add in some music. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.